Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about principles of risering into a casting process and more talking about the importance of the open riser and blind risers it will be used into a casting process. So let us start with the basic components of a gating systems. So just you can see the basic arrangement of the different components and starting with a pouring cup. So basically pouring cup that will be used to collecting the molten form of the metal and this pouring cup which will be connected with the sprue. Sprue is nothing but it will be the vertical passage providing for a molten form of the metal. So that will be travel from a pouring cup to the sprue and different systems towards a mold cavity. So at the end of a sprue that will be a sprue base. So basically sprue base that will be also collecting the molten form of the metal which will be passing through a pouring cup and sprue. So once it will be collecting into a sprue base and now just you can see it will be connected with the runner. So this one is the runner for a molten form of the metal. So these runners which will be connected with a different getting systems. So as from my shape and size and complexity it will be providing different getting systems. So in this figure it will be the three getting systems which will be connected with a runner and this getting system which will be also connected with the castings or you can say mold cavity. And finally that will be a riser which will be located into a cop side of a casting process or you can say sand casting process. So in this video we are more focusing on to the riser or you can say risering systems and its importance into a casting process. So just you can see the term getting systems refers to all the passageways through which the molten metal passes to enter the mold cavity. So basically pouring cup, sprue, sprue base, then runner get into a casting and final components that will be a riser. So the getting systems is composed of different components like pouring cup, sprue, runner, gates and riser. So just you can see. So now we will have a definitions of risering or you can see. Just you can see that will be the basic setup for a getting systems and final that will be a riser. So just you can see a riser or a feeder head is a passage of the sand made in the cop side during a ramming of the cop. So that will be located into the cop side of a sand casting process. So the molten metal rises into the feeder head after the mold cavity which will be filled up. So by these all components like pouring cups, sprue, runner, gats and castings or you can say mold cavity. So all the molten form of the metal it will be traveling through these components and once it will be filled the castings or you can say cavity. After that these rises it will be also filled with the molten form of the metals. So this metal in the feeder head or you can say riser which will be providing or you can say compensate the shrinkage as a casting solidified. So what happens during the solidifications of the molten form of the metal into the castings or you can say mold cavity this extra molten form of the metals that will be providing from a riser. So that will be providing a compensate materials towards a solidification process. So that will be the more important function of a riser into a sand casting process which that will be the compensate the shrinkage as a casting solidified. After this the different functions of risers metals and their alloys shrink as they cools and solidified. So all the metals it will be heated so it will be having expansions and during the solidification process it will be get shrinked. So it creates a partial vacuum within the casting. Partial vacuum leads to a shrinkage voids. These shrinkage voids will be grow and form a shrinkage cavity. If extra liquid metals from outside of the mold cavity is not 
supply. So the primary functions of the risers that will be attached with the mold and basically at your cop sections is to fill that metals to the solidified casting so that the shrinkage cavities are get rid of. A riser permits the escape of airs and mold gases as the mold cavity is being filled with the molten form of the metals. So due to that risering mechanisms it will be escaping the air which will be present into the getting systems as well as a into a mold cavity. So that will be reducing the different kind of defects is being generating into a casting process. A riser full of the molten metal which indicates that the mold cavity has already filled completely with a molten form of the metal. Or you can say that it will be gives the 100% ensurement regarding to the filling of the mold cavity with a molten form of the metal. Then a casting solidified under a liquid metal pressure of the riser is comparatively sound. So you will get a sound castings during the sand mold process. Risers promotes the directional solidification process and that technical terms it will be important for getting a based castings or you can say sound casting productions. Then after different types of risers is being located into a sand casting process. So just you can see over here that will be the different components. Just you can see that will be the cop part or you can say upper part and with the help of these parting lines it will be separated by a drag. So upper part it will be a cop and lower part it will be drag and by these parting lines or you can say flask it will be making a sand castings. So just you can see into the upper part or you can say cop and drag and just you can see this one is our course or you can see that this core it will be only used for making a hollow castings and just you can see these green colors that will be indicating as a mold cavity or you can say our required shape and just you can see it will be making the different components as we already discussing so that will be our pouring basing or you can say molten form of the metals it will be pouring into this one so that will be collecting the molten form of the metals now it will be traveling through a sprue. So this sprue it will be generally it will be a vertical passage and connecting with a pouring basin as well as the your getting systems or you can say runner. So by the traveling of the molten form of the metal from pouring basin to sprue and after this it will be a towards a mold cavity. And just you can see here that will be a blind riser. So later on we are discussing on to that why blind risers that will be used and importance of that and another risers as you can see over here that will be the open riser. So this molten form of the metals which will be towards a mold cavity. So after filling the mold cavity which will be into a riser side. So this riser it will be ensuring that our 100% filling of the mold cavity with the help of molten form of the metals. So here it will be the two time kind of risers is being used. One is a open riser just you can see and one is a blind riser. So now that will be the two different types of risers open riser and blind riser. So starting with a open risers so just you can see this one it will be considering as a open riser so basically that will be open to the air so that will be providing into a cop side so why it will be used just you can see the top of the open riser is open or you can say it means it will be exposed to the atmospheres so that will be the locations of a open riser so basically the liquid metal in a riser is fed to the solidifying castings under a force of the gravity because that will be open to air. So that will be maintaining the atmospheric pressures till the top surface of the riser solidifies and thereafter gravity is only the feeding force. So there will be the no extra pressure is being exerting onto that risers. 
So by the gravitational force, it will be fill the molten form of the metals during the solidification process into a mold cavity. An open riser is connected either at the top of the cup or onto the side of a parting line. So as from the complexity of the job, which will be located, but basically it will be onto the top of the particularly cup side. An open riser is generally cylindrical into the shape. Some of the advantages for making a open riser and that will be an open riser is easy to mold as compared to a blind riser. So that will be easy task for a casting process. An open riser is open to the atmosphere thus it ensures that unlike a blind riser it will be not drawn metal from the castings as a result of partial vacuum in the riser. Some of the limitations open riser is not placed into a drag which will be having difficulties. Open riser is generally larger than a comparable blind riser. An open riser is more difficult to remove from a castings as compared to a blind riser. So these all are the advantages as well as a limitations of open riser. Now we will discussing with a blind riser. So just you can see this one is our blind riser. So a blind riser is closed at its top. However, a vent or you can say permeable core at the top of the riser may be provided to have some exposure to the atmosphere. Otherwise, the vacuum created between the top of the riser and liquid metal levels into the riser may not permit the proper feeding of the liquid metal from riser to the castings. So the gravity is only the feeding force for that. A blind riser is connected either at the top of the core or you can say onto the side of the castings at the parting lines or into the drag. So all the possible of the location wise for a blind riser. So either it will be onto the cop side, either it will be onto a parting side, either it will be reverse into a drag side. So as from my requirements, I would like to use that particular locations. So a blind riser is a rounded cavity and it represents the minimum practical ratio of the surface area to the volume and thus associated a slow cooling rates and is more efficient. So that will be controlling the slow cooling rates into a mold cavity. So that will be the major advantages of blind risers. So discussing with the advantages, the blind risers can be placed at any positions into the mold. Either you can use into the cup, drag or you can say nearer to a parting line. A blind riser is smaller than a comparable open risers. So a blind risers can be removed more easily from a casting process. Then blind risering promotes the directional solidifications better than a open risering systems. So if you want to controlling the directional solidification process into a mold cavity, so you should preferring a blind risering instead of open risering systems. Some of the limitations, it is difficult to mold a blind riser because it will be not too open to the atmosphere. So that will be the parting of a getting systems. So a blind riser may be drawn liquid metal from the solidifying castings. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much.